द फंक्शन एफ इज ऑन टू फंक्शन एंड नोट दैट इन सेंग सो वी हैव नाट मैंशन एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ द डोमेन और एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ द को डोमेन सो इफ अ फंक्शन सेटिसफाई सेटिसफाइज दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉपर्टी देन दैट फंक्शन इज ऑन टू फंक्शन and this characteristic property does not mention elements of the domain or elements of the codomain so we have obtained a condition for a function to be on to without mentioning elements of the sets and this is the condition this is the condition as i said before it becomes helpful if we write in terms of arrows so we may define i have already mentioned that we may define this particular diagram this is function f and the, these are two parallel functions g and h with domain b and co domain c we may define this diagram to mean that g circle f is equal to h circle f so what i am saying is that if this diagram is there we will read it as g circle f is equal to h circle f this is the agreement we are making so this is what we are defining so having done that then the above characteristic property may be stated as then the above characteristic property may be stated as f is on to if and only if a to b f and then these two parallel arrows g and h if and only if this implies that g is equal to h so what does this mean this means g circle f is equal to h circle f so if g circle f is equal to h circle f then g is equal to h in this form it is more easy to keep in mind this is very helpful diagram in fact in category theory so so we were talking about on two functions and the for on two function we have proved a characteristic property that if this happens then the function f is on two if this happens then the function f is on two now we come to one to one functions one to one functions one to one functions are the function you already know these are also called injective functions on to functions are called surjective functions one to one functions are called injective functions so let's recall our definition of function f with domain a and co domain b is 1 to 1 or injective if 
distinct elements in A have distinct images in B. If distinct elements of A have distinct images in B. So in fact what we mean is that that is if uh, F image of A1 is same as F image of A2 that is if F A1 is equal to F A2 then A1 must be equal to A2. So this is condition for one to one function and you are very well aware of this condition from your intermediate and other courses you have taken in analysis or algebra. So th this definition is based upon, note that this definition is based upon is based upon elements of sets because we're talking about a1 a2 these are elements of a then fa1 fa2 these are elements of b so this definition is based upon elements of sets elements of sets we shall now uh, devise a similar characteristic property as we have done for on two functions. So we shall now now devise a form a characteristic property. for one to one functions which is which should be free from use of elements which would be free from use of elements of the sets sets in this case a and b so in order to do that let's have a proposition this proposition is going to be similar proposition as we have done for on two functions for on two function function f was right cancelable for one to one function the for one to one function this will be left cancelable so the things are going to be very simple now on similar pattern we will prove this proposition if f is a uh, is an on two function if f with the domain A and co-domain B is an onto function then if we compose F with G and we compose F with H and these compositions are equal this implies that G is equal to H where G is a function with domain C and co-domain A and 
x is again a function with domain c and codomain a. So if f is on if f is a one to one function, sorry, in fact we were not discussing on two, now we are discussing one to one function. So is an one to one function. Now oh, sorry I have written on two is a one to one function. So if f is a one to one function, I think it should be a uh, so if f is a one to one function then f circle g is equal to f circle h implies that g is equal to h so it will be helpful if we write in this way let me do it in the bracket we may write so from domain C to A, we have two functions, G and H, and the function F is from A to B. So in this, in this case, note that our composition is F circle G and F circle H. F circle G is equal to F circle H. So you can uh, compare the case with on two case remember that in case of on two functions these two functions were on the right hand side in case of one to one function these two functions are from the left hand side in case of on two function your two function g and h were from domain b and in case of one to one function these two function g and h are to the domain A, uh, G and H have A as codomain. In that case, G and H had B as domain. Anyway, you can compare these things with each other. So, this implies G is equal to H. Instead of writing in this way, you can write it in this way. And you can see that in this case f is left cancelable so anyway but we have to prove that if f is one to one function then f circle g is equal to f circle h implies that g is equal to h so let's prove that so for proof In this case, we are given that the function f is 1 to 1. So let's note that we are given that. The function with domain A and codomain B, which is f, is 1 to 1. This function is 1 to 1. So this is given. Now we have to prove that if f circle g is equal to f circle h, then g is equal to h. So suppose that f circle g is equal to f circle h. We are supposing it and we shall prove that we shall prove that g is equal to h. So this is what we have to prove. If f circle g is equal to f circle h, then g is equal to h. This is what we have to prove. So in order to prove that, let's take an element in C. Uh, let me draw this diagram here. 
will be helpful to see things so this is set C these are two parallel functions G and H and this is the function from A to B which is in fact F just for help I have drawn this diagram so in order to prove that G is equal to H note that domain of G is C domain of H is C in order to prove that G is equal to H we will prove that effect of G on element on any element of C and effect of H on same element of C are same G and H have same effects on elements of C this, this is what we have to prove so in order to prove that we choose an element in C so let C belongs to C So let C belongs to this set C. Then from 1, note that F circle G, domain of F circle G is C, also domain of F circle H is again C. So we have chosen an element of C, so we can take effect of F circle G on C and effect of F circle H on C and these two will be equal. Then from 1, F circle G effected upon C is equal to F circle H affected upon C. And therefore, this means that f of g c is equal to f of h c now recall that a function is one to one if f is one to one function then f a one is equal to f a two implies that a one is equal to a two this is the definition of one-to-one -one function we have discussed it in earlier this definition of one-to-one -one function in terms of elements now note that f is a one-to-one -one function and we have we are seeing that effect of f on this element is same as effect of f on this element therefore these two elements are going to be equal as a1 is equal to a2 for one-to-one -one function so if If f is one to one, then this happens. Now, since f is one to one, therefore g c is equal to h c. Reason is because f is one to one. So, for any C belonging to C, G, effect of G on C is same as effect of H on C. So, therefore, G and C are, G and H are same function. And that is what we had to prove. We have done that. So, having done that, we come to converse of this particular proposition. So, conversely, we have proposition which says that let f from a into b a is domain b is codomain to so let f from a into b be a function such that f circle g is equal to f circle h implies that g is equal to h 
then f is 1 to 1 then f is 1 to 1 note that what we are doing now previously we supposed that f is 1 to 1 function and proved this condition now we are supposing this condition and we will prove that f is 1 to 1 so let's come to proof so for proof we are going to use same technique as we did in the case of on two functions so let's take two elements of the set a let a1 and a2 belong to the set a such that effect of f upon a1 is same as effect of f upon a2 such that f a1 is equal to f a we shall prove that we have to prove that f is 1 to 1 so in order to prove that f is 1 to 1 we have to prove that we shall prove that a1 is equal to a2 so if we succeeded to do that to prove that a1 is equal to a2 then f will become a one to one function so to in order to do so we are going to consider two functions again so consider functions first of all as we did in the case of on2 we took identity function of the set b in this case we are going to take identity function of the set a so consider identity function on the set a a to a and you know that what does this function do this function takes any element of a to itself so this is a one function and second function we are going to consider is h this function is again from a to a and uh, its definition is given by effect of h on any element of a will be same as effect of this identity function on this element of a and you know that that effect is a it is for the condition if a is not equal to a1 so what we are saying is that the function h is same as identity function on a for those elements which are different from a1 so except for a1 um, effect of h is same as effect of identity function and as far as a1 is concerned effect of h on a1 is going to be equal to a2 a2 remember that this is a2 f a 1 is equal to f a 2 this is what we have we started with so h a 1 is equal to a 2 so note that the function h is almost almost similar to identity function on a except at one point and that point is a 1 so having defined this function then note that f composed with identity of a 
effect of this composed function on any element of a is equal to you can work it out Let, let's do that this is equal to f of identity of a affected upon a and this is equal to identity of a affected upon a is equal to a identity function this is a so this is equal to f a so effect of this composed function upon a is equal to f a so what we are saying is that that is f circle identity of a is equal to f and we already know that when we composed a function with the identity function of co-domain set or co-domain set result is the same this is in fact we started with in the beginning anyway i have also worked it out so, so f circle identity of a this composed function is equal to f is equal to f and this is equal to f in fact so let's call it 2 and let's see what f circle h is effect of f circle h on a is equal to f a if a is not equal to a1 I told you that H function is just the identity function of set A for those elements which are not equal to A1 so if A is not equal to A1 then F effect of F circle H on A is same as effect of F on A because H is just the identity function on A so is very simple to see that and the uh, effect of f circle h there is only one element left and that is a1 effect of f circle h on a1 is equal to f of h a1 and this is equal to h a1 is equal to a2 h a1 is equal to u this way we have defined h so this is equal to f a2 and f a2 is equal to f a1 this is given and this is equal to f a1 so note that f circle effect of f circle h on a1 is equal to f a1 and effect of f circle h on a is equal to f a so effect of f circle h is same as effect of f therefore f circle h is equal to f now in 2 we have concluded that f circle identity of a is equal to f in 3 we are saying that f circle h is equal to f therefore f circle identity of a is same as f circle h so from 2 and 3 from 2 and 3 f circle identity of a is equal to f circle h because both are equal to f f circle identity of a is equal to f circle h so this is from 2 and 3 and therefore now let's come to our proposition statement of the proposition which says that if composition of f with g and composition of f with h are same 
then G and H are equal. Note that composition F, composition of F with identity of A and composition of F with H are same. If these two are same, then these two are equal. Left cancelable. H is left, F is left, left cancelable. So F circle identity of A is equal to F circle H. Therefore, identity of A is equal to H because it is given in our statement of the proposition. Therefore, identity of A is equal to H. And this is by hypothesis given in the proposition. By hypothesis given in the proposition. And therefore, now see that domain of identity of A is the set A and domain of H is again the set A. You can see it very easily. So therefore, identity of A effected upon A1 is same as H effected upon A1. Since these two are equal, so their effect on A1 will be equal. Now, effect of identity of A upon A1 will be equal to A1 because identity of A is identity function. And effect of H upon A1 let me show you effect of h upon a1 is equal to effect of h upon a1 is equal to a2 just note that we have already discussed that we defined h in this way effect of h upon a1 is equal to a2 so effect of h upon a1 is equal to a2 so note that we have proved that A1 is equal to A2. This is what we had to do. Let A1, A2 be elements of A such that F A1 is equal to F A2. We shall prove that A1 is equal to A2. So we have proved that A1 is equal to A2. And therefore F is 1 to 1. And therefore F is 1 to 1. So this concludes the proof. So let's conclude what we have done. So conclude. So a function f from a to b is 1 to 1. A function f from a to b is one to one if and only if we have proved two propositions so it becomes if and only if condition if and only if f circle g is equal to f circle h implies that g is equal to h we may say that F is left cancelable just uh, to keep things in mind we may say that F is left cancelable so for one to one function F is left cancelable left cancelable for on two functions F is right cancelable <coughs> let's note that we may take as we have done for our two functions so we may take 
this condition f circle g is equal to f circle h implies g is equal to h as characteristic property for on two functions as characteristic property for on two functions Now again making a mistake. Characteristic property for one to one functions. For one to one functions. So note that this property is free from use of elements of sets. Note that. This property is free from use of elements of the sets. And let's have another look. We may write this property as this property may be stated as F is one to one. If and only if implies that g is equal to h. f circle g is equal to f circle h implies that g is equal to h. So having said that, let's see what are the conditions for one to one and on two functions. So let's conclude. Conclude. Number one. F is on two. If and only if G circle F is equal to H circle F implies that G is equal to H and F is one to one if and only if F circle G is equal to F circle H implies that g is equal to h. So there is very beautiful symmetry in these two results for on to f is right cancellable f and for one to one f is left cancellable. So if this happens function is on to if this happens function is one to one and note that these two properties do not use elements of the sets, elements of the domain or co-domain. So we have given element free definitions for one-to-one -one functions and for 
Arbu Function.